our CHOP grant is a three-tiered grant. We are providing funds to child care centers and homes who participate in um, the CACFP. They're getting money to plant a garden, either at their center or their home. They're teaching the Grow It, Try It, Like It nutrition um, curriculum to children in care, and they're attending the culinary training to get skills to learn how to prepare all the fresh fruits and vegetables that they're gonna be growing. So if that was a soup and we wanted to puree it <clears throat> while it's hot, I can go ahead and attach my blender and go in there and puree it while it's hot. We decided to partner with the Live Well School Food Initiative for many reasons, but truly it comes from their excitement, their, their desire to help children, to really interact with the providers, the cooks. They have such an ability to get on their level and to teach them amazing skills. Uh, one of the biggest things we love about them is their teamwork, their ability to plan, to scope the project, and that every participant leaves at the end of this feeling more confident. We had a participant email me and she said something along the lines of, before this training I felt like feeding children was a chore, and after this training I see it as an opportunity, and that's the kind of stuff that gives us goosebumps and really, really makes us want to work with LiveWell every time that we host one of these. What's in there? A big watermelon. A big watermelon. The CHOP uh, program has really helped Little Giants a lot in us gaining new tools and new information for us to implement here with the children and also to our families and our community. We wanted to share what the information that we got from the CHOP program with families who showed an interest because they really wanted to also participate and do something like that in their community. So the program has just really gave us the skills that we needed to be able to share with them. Kind of like the strawberries, huh? Yeah, yeah they look like grapes. Because we have to wait till they turn what color? Red. 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 Very good. And then when they're red, we can pick them, right? We utilize our garden to help the children discover uh, new fruits and vegetables and also use it to show them different techniques on what they can do at home with their parents, um, like cutting, serving food as well. I have noticed that our kids have tried more fruit and vegetables since we started the garden. They like the smell, the texture, the colors. A lot of our parents have been able to come and walk around the garden with their children and recall events of their childhood with their children and talk to them about when they were little what they used to do. I believe that everything has to go just back to basics, how it was a long time ago. And we need to learn where good food comes from, uh, that we need to be gentle with the environment. Food that I'm not eating, I'm gonna feed it to the worms, and these worms are gonna give me food to put into my garden, and then my garden is gonna give me food. And they are learning all this process, and we are learning with them, and, and I love that because I think they, they, it's just gonna change the perspective they have from life. One of the biggest things we hope that they will gain from this training is confidence and to feel how powerful their role is. They have the ability to serve a child the healthiest, most colorful, most nutritious meal that they may have all day. And we just really want them to leave knowing that they have that power. They can help shape a child's ability to like a certain fruit or vegetable for the rest of their life. And what an amazing opportunity that is. What's your favorite food in your garden? My food is tomatoes and strawberries. Oh man, so today was a good lunch for you, huh?